What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So our friends over at Fragrance Buy reached out to me and asked me if I was interested in checking out some fragrances from the brand Ahmed Al Maghribi, I believe is how you say that, Maghribi. So I've got four offerings that they sent to me at random. I was like, sure, what the hell? I'm always looking to check out some new fragrances. So I have no idea what's going on here. I've never looked into these before. I'm as blind as blind can be when it comes to these fragrances. Uh, they are offering a special 20% off code down in the description for this brand for 48 hours as of the time this video goes live, 48 hours later, uh, going into Saturday, because it is Thursday at the recording and launching of this video. So we're gonna see what's what, even though they sent them here. If I like it, I like it. If I don't, I don't, and anything in between. So let's jump into them, stay tuned. So naturally, I want to start with the blue box called Sapphire first. You know, uh, call me crazy, but I have a feeling this is going to be a blue-ish aquatic type fragrance. I mean, that's at least what I would think initially. So these affordable Middle Eastern brands, they, uh, they come up with some pretty good stuff most of the time. So I'm very eager to see what's what. I don't know if they're clones. I don't know if they're originals. Again, blind as blind could be in this situation. Okay. Okay interesting bottle design got a blue fade caps plastic but it has an interesting little like rock like jewel of some sort gemstone if you will kind of look to it let's give it a spray see what we're with. let's check out the atomizer first decent it doesn't remind me of anything right away let's give it a spray see what we're working with here so I'll give it a sniff, see what I think, and we'll cross-reference with the notes like we normally do. I'll try to hunt down some notes. I'm not sure if they'll have it on Profumo, Trollgranthica, or any of those places. Who knows? We'll see what they got. It's kind of like Fierce, but fresher. So it does remind me of something. It's a little bit like Fierce. Like, more like Percival than Fierce, because Percival's got more freshness, I find, overall. Yep, yeah, that's immediately what comes to mind. It's like a more citrus dominant kind of twist. Because I wouldn't call it one to one, but kind of like in, it's in the vein. It's tapping into the vein of Abercrombie Fitch Fierce, of Parfums and Marley Percival. I think more like Percival. Very musky, fresh and spiced. But it's more about citrus than anything like apple or anything like that. There might be a little bit in there though. This is good. If you like fragrances in that, like that style, you like that DNA and that scent profile, the fierce style fragrance, you'll probably like this one. It's so airy and fresh and musky. I have to let the wife smell this one. She's a big fan of this scent profile. Let's see if I can hunt down some notes here. I, I like this. A few minutes later. Okay, so I found some notes on orientalfragrance.com. They didn't have it on uh, any of the usual suspects. But according to this, notes are... Red fruits, watermelon, lavender, Sicilian orange, lotus, jasmine, lily of the valley, amber, white musk. So a lot of white musk. And it is much more citrus dominant. There's no apple here. Um... It's starting to turn a little bit away from, like, uh, uh, more juicy fruit, not sweet, but more juicy fruit, citric type of uh, twist on Fierce. Still reminds me of, of Percival and Fierce, but fresher. Again, more citrus dominant. Because they list red berries, but I don't get, like, a fruity sweetness like this. Sicilian orange watermelon combo with the lotus. Lotus is giving it that watery feel. This is, like, um... A more summer friendly take on the DNA, if you will. A lot of musk here, a lot of clean white musk, a little on the synthetic side. I get that watermelon starting to set in a little bit. So yeah, it's in it's in that realm. It's in the realm of Fierce and Percival with its own twist. It's not a carbon copy, which I like. I prefer a twist. Give me a twist, give me something slightly different that in some ways could be an improvement or not. I think in some ways this is an improvement. If you like this scent profile, but maybe want something on a high heat summer's day, I think this would work better. 
this one is a uh, scent profile that's very popular in this household and it's a nice fresh twist on it i think it's an easy eight out of ten great because of that this is the one to beat eight's not absurdly high rating it's far from a low and average rating so we'll see if the, any of these other ones can top it okay so next we have hirfa i believe is how you would say that hirfa no clue what we're working with here 75 ml all right Kind of reminds me of, uh, in some ways, like kind of the graphic, the printing of a Tom Ford box. Like signature line kind of stuff. Is it going to smell anything like that? I don't know. Okay. Interesting, like uh, cup-like design. Not a fan of the bottle. <laughs> you know, not really my style, but, um, you know, it's unique. I'll give them that. Jeweled on the top. Hold well in the place, clicks in the place really strong. Let's see what kind of atomizer we're working with. Actually, holds well. I got to give them that. Another good atomizer. Hmm. I don't really get anything in the air. That's kind of weird. It's a, actually a really good atomizer. Okay, there we go. It's a little, uh, a little fruity, playful, kind of almost bubblegummy, like maybe a little bit of sage or something. Oh, wow, okay, some spice. A little different out in the air than on skin. It's like a actual chewing gum when I say bubble gum. Like pink chewing gum with some spice. This is different. This doesn't remind me of anything. This doesn't remind me of anything at all. I'm trying to place it. I don't. I, I can't put it anywhere. But it's a. It's interesting, and I mean that in a good way. The spice that's here makes it different for this. Like there's a playfulness and a serious side. It's almost like a yin and yang kind of blend here. It's almost like it doesn't know exactly what it wants to be. Not yet, anyways. It is the opening. I guess we'll have to see how it settles in. Give it a few minutes. A little bubblegummy, slight woodsy, but there's this interesting spice that comes across like cardamom to me. I could be wrong. Let's see if we can find some notes here. One minute, 37 seconds later. So, Parfumo did have it. Here we go. Fruity notes, floral notes, woody notes. Okay. I get a little spice that they're not listing, but fruity notes is the top, floral notes is the heart, woody notes is the base. I definitely get some woodiness to it. Fruity makes sense. A little bit of spice though that I'm not that's not accounted for here. I like this one. I like this one more than Sapphire, the one we talked about a minute ago. And because it doesn't remind me of anything that immediately is going to be why I like it more and it's something I could daytime wear year round in this climate it's not too heavy and it's also not too fresh there's a casual playfulness to this it's not too it lists floral notes but it's not heavily flowery there's a touch of powder this is my favorite this is the one to beat this is an 8.5 out of 10 Hirfa. I'm not a fan of the bottle, but I am a fan of the fragrance oil inside this bottle. And the atomizer is amazing, by the way. This is the one to beat. Yeah. This is going in the rotation. 8.5 out of 10. I'd say we're off to a pretty good start. Now we have Ottawa. Now, just based on the color scheme of this box, I'm going to assume it's a heavier fragrance. Darker, if anything. See what we're working with. Heavy bottle. Cylinder style. Very basic. It says Ottawa Ahmed. And then up here says Ottawa. Some design to the glass. The cap matches it. Uh, again, not really a fan of the bottle. 
back to back where I like I, the sapphire bottle was nice, but I don't care for this bottle either. Cap holds into place well. Even though the bottles don't appeal to me visually, they're quality builds. If this is another really good atomizer, it's definitely quality builds. Hmm. Okay. Oh, that's pleasing. It's easy. Citrus, fresh. Kind of sweet citrus. Let's see what we got here. Consistent with the atomizers and the build quality on these bottles. I gotta give it to them, even though they're not visually all that appealing to me. The build quality is good. Another thick base glass. Ooh. It's just shaking out that they're getting better with each one. A lot of citrus here. A zesty kind of citrus. A little bit of sweetness to the citrus and zest. Not sharp. Still juicy, but there's no astringence to this citrus. It's a citrus musk type of fragrance, but there's also like a round fullness to like this flowery feel, but it doesn't make it super girly. It smells like rose, but it's not like a super powdery rose. It is powdery, but like it doesn't have like that grandma rose feel to it. You know what I mean? It doesn't smell like that old school citrus fresh rose fragrance. So... Here's how it comes across to me. I think it's straightforward. A juicy, sweet citrus that has a little bit of zestiness to it. Rose. A full-bodied rose smell. Like a thicker rose. Not necessarily jammy and sweet, but a thicker rose aroma. Dense woods, because I'm getting a nice like cedar-like smell. And musk. Could be some spice, too, that's given the zest. It doesn't really smell that spicy, but could just be the cedar. I think it's cedar anyways. There's some kind of woody note that I would consider cedar here in this. I don't think it's sandalwood. This smells pretty straightforward. This one's actually really good. This is a great daily wear fragrance. It's, it's, I swear this did, wasn't planned. It just kind of shook out. This is my favorite of the three now. We're just getting better with each one. Now, I don't think it's a 9 out of 10, though. So, I'll hold that outstanding rating. It's not, like, mind-blowingly good, but it is really, really good. So, let's let's see if I can find some notes here. 12 seconds later. Okay, so Parfumo had this one, too. Citrus notes, musk, rose, white blossoms, woody notes. So, I got the citrus, musk, rose, and woody notes right. White blossoms, I, I didn't see coming, and there's no spice listed. But in those woody notes is cedar. I can almost guarantee it because it smells like a sharp cedar smell to me. It comes across as familiar, but I can't pinpoint. Like, this smells like this. So I'm going to the gym after this. And this might be a little too heavy. Fuck it. Two sprays. Light spritzes, too. I didn't push all the way down. This is kind of strong, but it smells so good. I want to wear it. it smells so good. Man, I'm going to give this one an 8.5 out of 10 as well. So it's got a matching rating to the previous one. I don't think it's like outstanding. Oh, my God, this is mind-blowingly good, but it just smells really good and suits my taste and personality. It's strong, though. Maybe that was a mistake because I will have these fragrances on my arms as well. Plus, I just gave myself two little kind of half sprays of this on the neck. I really like this, though. I really want to wear this like pronto. I mean, it's, it's happening now. I already sprayed it on. This is so good. This is the one to beat. I, I'm not going to say that the fourth one doesn't have a chance, but this is really my taste. I don't care for the bottle visually. But this, if I was keeping one so far, it's this one. We got one left. The trend has been they get better with each each one I go through. I don't know, but Arwa, and this is good. Okay, so here we go. Hayana, the biggest box presentation of the bunch. It's a flip top box. I'll try to get this bad boy out. 
Here's the window. Looks like it slid to the side a little bit. But Now, I would think this is darker. I was wrong with Arwa. I thought that would have been a darker fragrance. It was not. I said it just came out, but there's a foam cutout that it fits in pretty snugly. So this is clearly the nicest presentation of the bunch. Yeah, this There's no way this is a fresh fragrance. I love the frosting, though. It's a deep, burgundy, frosted glass. This texturing in the glass, this is the nicest one. So now this one's visually appealing to me. This is the nicest bottle. Without question, this is the nicest bottle. Okay, so three for three with the cap holding well. Four for four. Quality, and look, there's no, it doesn't click either. It just holds nice and snug into the collar. So their build quality on their fragrances are, are very good. This is the nicest one. Hefty base, too. It's good stuff. This is a good bottle right here. Let's see what the atomizer is. Three great atomizers so far. Another one. Well, that's heavier. That's sweet. Like caramel sweet. Spray on the lion's head. In the face of the lion. Lion tattoo. Oh, that's like caramel toffee. Yeah, it's a sweet fragrance. That's going to be cloying when I'm sweating at the gym. I'm going to have to wash my arms after this video. I don't think I can go to the gym with those two sprays and all of this. I think it's going to be too much. I don't want to be that guy at the gym. Oh, caramel toffee is what it smells like to me. Um, like a Werther's Original, a cream saver, that kind of smell. That creamy caramel of coffee. It could be like a sweet coffee smell that I'm getting, just not a lot of coffee. Oh, there's definitely, I will be amazed if there isn't caramel here. There's a sweet cream caramelly type of thing going. This is delicious. This is not an everyday wear. This is a super situational cooler weather fragrance for me. But it's a great fragrance. All four of these have been really good. I'm, I'm kind of impressed here. Because I didn't know what to expect. It's like, oh, they could just be basic clones. This one doesn't remind me of anything either. The first one reminded me of Fierce, pretty clear as day. But the other three, I haven't been able to pinpoint. This one as well, I can't pinpoint it. It's familiar. That is delicious. Delicious. It smells like a dessert. And it smells like cream savers. Let's see if I can find the notes. A few minutes later. Okay, so filled with baraka. Is the website that I had to find this one. Um, all right, but we do have notes. Where were they? This where I saw notes. Here we go. Okay. So according to this, heliotrope, tangerine, and orchid also has tropical fruits, white flowers, peony, vanilla, musk, amber. You mean to tell me there isn't caramel in here? It's a women's fragrance, according to this. I could see that. It's it's very sweet, feminine. But fruitiness, sure. But I smell like a caramel thick sweetness, not just vanilla. Not just vanilla and orchid and fruits. The flowery notes are coming out more and more. But it was like a sweet cream caramel kind of smell in the opening. Delicious. I like it. The flowers are taking hold pretty strong. It's like transitioning and, and nuancing quickly. That is good. I wonder what the wife's going to think about this one. I love the bottle. The bottle's the best one of the bunch. Situationally, hurts this one a little bit for me. The smell's great, though. The quality's good. I'll go with a 7.5. Very good for this one. It is very good fragrance, but... Not necessarily something I would gravitate towards all the time. It smells great. It's not something I'm going to reach for. Bet the wife's going to like this one, though. But Hayana? Easy. Smooth 7.5 out of 10. Well, that's the four from Ahmed Al-Maghribi. I believe is how you say that. Maghribi? Maghribi? I'm, I'm, I'm trying. What can I say? But Arwa? This is my jam. Oh, this is my jam. I have two sprays on the neck. I'm going to the gym with that. I'm going to wash the rest of this off because I'm just, the sillage I have going on right now must be ridiculous. But Because these are strong. All of them are strong. 
Oh, but this is the one for me. Arwa, if I'm putting the stamp of approval on one. It is this one. Thank you so much, Fragrance Buy, for sending these my way so I could check these out. I, I definitely gravitate to this one. I like. There's no guarantee I'm going to want to constantly wear the other ones, even though they are pretty damn good. This is the one. This is the one that's going to go in the rotation here and there. This one's going to stay on the desk for a while because I really like this. So if you're interested in checking any of these out, there's a link down below that will bring you straight to the page with the brand's fragrances. And Spring 20, which is the code down below, lasts for two days for 48 hours as of the, this video going live on this brand specifically. If you want to check anything out, um, if you have to taste similar to mine, I would suggest Arwa. Man, it's good. It's heavy. It's like stout. This stuff is pumping off of the skin. Like heavy spraying this one would choke you out as the wearer, let alone other people. It's got a cloying nature to it, so it's potent. Be mindful. Maybe this wasn't a good idea. When I go to sweating and body heat, now this might be a bad idea that I sprayed that for the gym. But we'll find out. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. I really do appreciate all the feedback, and I love hearing from you guys. Have you tried anything from this brand? I mean, this was the first time I've, I've really looked into them. It, they were offered up, and I was like, sure, what the hell, I'll try them. And um, thoroughly impressed. Blown away? No. Definitely not blown away, but pretty impressed for what they are, i got to say. So much so that I sprayed one of them on my neck. And here we are. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on anything from this brand and you give them a spray now, you might end up thanking me later. Have a good one, guys. Mm -hmm.